Protection with Blessings. Mangala Sutta. By Venerable Uttamo Thera. 32.3. Purification of the Path and Not Path. Magamaga Nanadasana Visuddhi. There are not much to talk about the fifth purification of path and not path. When the yogi arrives at the knowledge of rising and fall of mind and matter, Ude Abhaya Nana, the ten insight corruptions appear. These are an aura, obasa, rapture, piti, tranquility, kasadi, resolution, adimokha, exertion, pagaha, happiness, sukha, knowledge, nana, mindfulness, sati, equanimity, apeka, and attachment, nikanti. If a yogi gets lost in any one of them and become an obstacle to the progress. Because the yogi takes it as the attainment and stops the practice. Then, Sayadaw Pananda mentioned them in his talk on the seven purifications. Every yogi must encounter any of these phenomena. The important point is they should not get lost in these processes. In the inside processes, there are no appearing of bodily form and particles. Paramatta dharmas are arising and passing away by itself and with insight defilement, kalesa, is purified. The mind becomes clear and bright that one aura or light comes out from the body. If samadhi is strong, it also has light. If you encounter them, do not think about them and not take pleasure in them. Otherwise, the practice will go down. By not taking an interest in them and continue with the impermanent process will overcome the problem. Too sharp knowledge. At the beginning of vipassana practice, it was led by samadhi, so that knowing them with concepts whatever arises. This was the task of satipatthana. Sometimes if the yogi discerned impermanence, the contemplative mind had five path factors, sati, viriya, samadhi, samadithi and sama sankapa. This period was very short. After that, samadhi led the process again. In these ways sometimes led by samadhi and sometimes became knowledge, discern anaka. And then sati became strong. Sometimes the mind is clear and sometimes not. When it is clear will discern impermanence. If not, clear, only know the arising phenomena with concepts. This level is still led by samadhi. With samadhi, the yogi develops step by step and only seeing anaka. This is led by discernment, nana or knowledge. And then, knowledge becomes pure and sharper. With the better and sharper knowledge, the yogi cannot discern anaka as separating one by one. Instead, the yogi sees the passing away as a whole. When seeing anaka with the strong power of mind or sharp knowledge and he takes it as attainment. At that time, the yogi able to contemplate whatever coarse, middle, refined phenomena without failure. The yogi can take pleasure in it. With pleasure, his knowledge declines. 3. Rapture, PT. The important point here is whatever the yogi encounters he can solve the problem. Whatever type of contemplation we do or try when discerning anaka, all phenomena, body, feeling, mind and dharma, a dharma arising and dharma passing away. Only sankhara, all conditioned things or the five khandas, arises and sankhara passes away. With the mind clear and pure, zest appears. And then the yogi cannot discern anaka which is covered up by rapture. With strong respect on the three treasures, tiratana, i.e., Buddha, Dharma and Sangha, rapture can arise. With the pervading rapture, Farana Piti, which is the Piti in Jhana attainment, the yogi cannot see impermanence. 
Without seeing anicca, the yogi thinks it as the ending of anicca, which is nibbana. At that time, knowledge went down. Even some yogis have tears come out. Instantly when rapture arises if he can contemplate it and no problem arises. If not, the yogi takes it as the path knowledge and stops the contemplation. For tranquility, pasadi, mind and body become tranquil. Any one of the ten corruptions can arise to the yogi. These things are sure to arise for yogis. If not, encounter any of them, the mind still not mature yet. After the encounter, it and cannot solve them the yogi will far from nibbana. Normally people are burning with the fire of defilement such as greed, ill will, delusion, sorrow, etc. The mind is not peaceful. In the same way the body is oppressing by diseases and pains. But when the yogi discerning anicca with the strong power mind, he can bear all the pains with equanimity. When the mind and body become tranquil, the mind can fall into one-pointedness, ekagata. Then the yogi cannot hear any external sounds. And no external object disturbs the mind. It is peaceful. At that time, Anika disappears and the mind sinks in the tranquility and take it as the path knowledge. Each yogi experience is not the same. If the yogi can contemplate the arising fake dharma, i.e., any of the ten corruptions, then contemplate its anika. If not, neglecting it and continue with one's contemplation. 5. Happiness, Sukha. From tranquility, it progresses to the level of happiness, then the yogi can maintain the posture for a very long time. Without any pain and aching, the mind feels happiness. At that time, sukha replaces anicca and the yogi misses anicca. Also, the yogi does not contemplate the arising happiness that knowledge falls. 6. Resolution or Faith, Adimokha with the well discerning of anicca better and better, faith increases, i.e., in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. The whole body becomes cool and happy. This cool and happiness come from the faith which covers up anicca. So, anicca disappears and the yogi took it as the attainment. With faith, if happiness arises, the yogi should not lose sati and contemplate the arising happiness as anicca. Or without paying attention to it and continue with one's practice. There are two ways to solve the problems. Contemplate the coming in corruptions as anicca or neglect it by contemplating one's meditation object. Therefore, in all these situations, sati is very important. 7. Exertion Pagaha or Varya. With the progress in the practice, the yogi can contemplate without any difficulty with happiness. So, exertion increases and the mind with high spirit. Every time he puts effort and not to miss the point. At that time, he could sink in the exertion and forgot anicca. This is taking pleasure in exertion. 8. Mindfulness. Sati. At that time, i.e., inside corruptions period, mindfulness always fell on the object and became very strong whatever dharma arises. It is the kind of heedful mindfulness that the yogi does not lost his sati even in a dream. If taking pleasure in strong mindfulness, he will miss anicca. Therefore, always alert with sati without letting go of anicca whatever dharma arises, i.e., do not change the object and not get lost in pleasure. 9. Equanimity. A pekka. Whatever dharma arises, it can be contemplated with equanimity. The yogi also can attach to this state and take it as attainment. 10. Attachment. Nikanti. All the above nine dharmas, light, obasa, 
to equanimity themselves, are not defilement, kalesa. The problem is the attachment to all these fake dharmas, i.e., nikanti. These are significantly refined dharmas and the signs of progress in practice. Every yogi must encounter them, not all. The problem here is the yogi's attachment or pleasure in them. It is nikanti or tana. Therefore, it could hinder the yogi's practice if they trapped him. So, be careful to the refined and subtle experiences with strong and alert mindfulness.